Hi everybody, welcome to Homemade and Homegrown. My name is Tammy. We're going to be in the kitchen again today. We're making barbecue sauce. Hope you can stick around. So how's everybody doing today? I got this new uh, apron as a gift at our farmer's market. One of the vendors made it for me and I absolutely love it because it completely covers me for one. <laughs> I make such a mess and it's got pockets. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. I like it. So we're making barbecue sauce today. I'm really excited. This is going to be my first time. So uh, I'm following the Amish cookbook. I feel like I got a sneeze coming on. Woo. Yep, I do. One sec. <laughs> okay, we're back. <laughs> uh, so I'm following the Amish canning cookbook. I love this. Uh, you can get it on Amazon. I'm not affiliated, so I don't get any anything out of it. So, but I just I love it, and I see that they've got barbecue sauce, and I've got so many more tomatoes that I need to get done. And my husband Joe said, "Why don't you uh, make some barbecue sauce?" So that's what I'm doing, <laughs> and I thought I'd take you along with me. So I've got 22 pounds of tomatoes right here in the sink they're in the water washing and rinsing and all that and what I'm gonna do is add a one and a well probably a one and a half pound of onion it also calls for two tablespoons of minced garlic um, it calls for one and a half tablespoons of hot pepper flakes I do have them but I'm not sure if I'm going to add that because I'm not one for spicy, like a whole lot of spice. I, I like a little bit of, tiny bit of heat where it just starts to tingle your tongue. <laughs> but not, not uh, like, <laughs> need water and all that stuff. So, and I find red pepper flakes can do that. But anyway, then it also calls for two tablespoons of celery seeds. Next is three cups of brown sugar. Well, I'm not going to be doing the sugar. I'm going to be doing the stevia, but you can go ahead and still do the brown sugar. Um, we're just not consuming a whole lot of sugar in our family. So um, I'm going to um, convert the three cups into uh, what the stevia would be. And then I'm going to do, what's next? Two cups of 5% vinegar. It can be your white vinegar. You can do your apple cider vinegar. You can split it in half. It's entirely up to you. But as long as you get um, two cups of vinegar in there, and it has to say, it has to be 5%. Uh, so it says two third cups of lemon juice. So it can't be just uh, like a, a fresh, fresh onion, or fresh onion, fresh lemon. You have to use the actual juice itself. Where are we? So you can do like the, the jar or you can get these guys. Okay, so it has to be concentrated juice. Uh, so that's two third cup of lemon juice, four tablespoons of salt, three tablespoons of nutmeg, two tablespoons of mustard powder, and two teaspoons of ginger, and two teaspoons of cinnamon. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna, in a large pot, we're going to, first you have to cut, peel, or not peel, cut and core your tomatoes. Make sure uh, you get any blemishes off the, the sides of the tomatoes, and then just cut them in like one inch cubes. Put them in your pot. Uh, so we're going to mix together the tomatoes, the onions, uh, the garlic, they say the pepper flakes, and celery seeds. So we're going to bring that all to a boil, stirring constantly, reducing the heat. And uh, we're going to cover and simmer until tomatoes and onions are soft, which they're thinking it's about 30 minutes. Uh, run tomato mixture through a food mill, a sieve, or a strainer to extract the juice and the pulp. Well, 
I'm going to be throwing it in my Vitamix blender because it just pulverizes everything and it's going to really make it thick. I'm going to mix it and let it let it chop in the mixer for a bit. And uh, what else? Place the pulp and juice in a pot and add the brown sugar, vinegar, lemon juice, salt, nutmeg, mustard powder, ginger, and cinnamon, and you're going to bring that mixture to a boil. Uh, let reduce the heat and simmer for about 30 minutes, stirring frequently until the mixture is thickened. Once you've got it to your desired consistency, then you can start throwing them in the jars. So I'm going to chop these tomatoes up. I won't keep you for that, but I'm going to get these all chopped up and in the pot. And as soon as I get that um, finished, then I will bring you back for the rest of it. Okay, I'll see you in a minute. Okay, guys, I've got all the tomatoes cut up. These ones are the Romas and San Marzanos. I did end up having a few of my little cherry tomatoes, but this year they were huge. I can't remember the name of the variety, but... Um, they, they were big, so I added a few just to make up for the 22 pounds. So, I've turned on the heat to medium for now, and I went ahead and chopped my onions. And I just did it in my little chopper here. You can get these at any dollar store or Walmart or whatever. But anyway, I went ahead and chopped. Now it says one and a quarter pounds of onions. So that just basically was th uh, four medium-sized white onion that I chopped up. So we're gonna put them in the tomatoes. I was kind of contemplating on whether to add another onion, but we're gonna see how this tastes. Did that now we're going to add uh, the garlic and the celery seeds okay so the recipe is calling for six cloves of garlic minced which is basically two tablespoons of minced garlic already minced for you so we're going to put two tablespoons of that my eyes and my nose is watering from chopping the onion <laughs> so i'm going to Kind of do more of a heaping because we do love garlic. And then it calls for two tablespoons of celery seed. And they want the pepper flakes, but we're not going to do pepper flakes. But I am going to do something else. So on Amazon, I bought these uh, this box of liquid smoke. And it's just, it's different flavors. There's there's apple, pecan, or pecan, however you want to say it, uh, mesquite, and hickory. I'm, I'm thinking of doing the hickory because normally when we buy the store-bought barbecue sauce, we kind of look for that taste, that hickory taste. So instead of the red pepper flakes for me, um, and now you can just follow the, the recipe the way it is. I will put the recipe in the description below. Um, and then I'm going to put the alternate or optional, um, the hickory, the hickory smoke. Okay. So I'm, am going to do a few drops of that. Kind of get that mixed in here. And it's just really probably a few drops. So let me see if it's going to what I'm thinking. I was thinking it was going to be like a teaspoon, but let me see. We're going to see what a teaspoon does. Oh, it smells good. So I'm going to mix this up, bring to a boil. So I guess I should bring up the heat a little bit more. Not quite high, but close to high, high heat. And again, this is my first time doing barbecue sauce. So you're learning with me. <laughs> I think I got that mixed up pretty good. I love this spoon. This is huge. I can't remember where I got it. I think I got it when I was, there was a trip. No, 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 that's not right too. I got it at a warehouse that was, um, 
that was selling out. That's what it was. They had a whole bunch, you know, pots and pans and things like that. And then I came across this spoon and I said, oh, you're coming home with me. <laughs> okay. Trying to get that lifted up. Now, according to the recipe, it says bring to a boil, stirring constantly, reduce heat, cover and simmer until tomatoes and onions are soft, about 30 minutes. Oh, and I meant to say too that when I was chopping, that took me, uh, to cut all this up, it took me about 25 minutes, 30 minutes. Okay, so I'm gonna continue with this and uh, I'll bring you back when it's done the 30 minutes. Okay everyone, I've let this boil down quite a lot because uh, I did see you know a little bit more water than, than I expected. So I've let it boil for 45 minutes, not 30 minutes, but you continue to, to run or to, uh, to go by the recipe that I'm gonna give you. Um, it's just that I just found that it was a little too watery for my likings, so I did do it for 45 minutes, not 30. Okay, so we're gonna move on to the next step. Okay guys, we're going to transfer this mixture. I'm actually gonna taste this. See if I get my spoon here. Oh, that's good. That's really good. Okay, and that's before the other spices. Now, I've also wanted to add a couple other spices to ours, which is going to be sweet paprika and smoked paprika. So we'll be doing that in a minute. But right now we're going to put it in the blender, transfer this into the blender, pulverize it, and then uh, I think I better get a bowl to transfer the other part. But anyway, so I'm gonna do that and I will be right back because I know this can be loud, but I will uh, just kind of show you. I don't want to make a mess, so. This is really hot. So I'm going to transfer this into that, and that is hot. It just splashed my hand. Ouch. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna probably, yeah, that'll be enough so that it can blend up really good. Where's my top? Where's my top? I'm gonna take this off for a minute. transfer this into a bowl that I have here in the sink. I bought one of those foot basins that you buy at the dollar store. <laughs> Perfect size for stuff like this. This is really turning out good. I'm just going to pour that last batch in the pot already because I can't fit it in the bowl. Okay, I'm just going to remove this blender out of the way. I'm loving this blender. It's really making my life easier. We're going to vary. I'm going to bring you over to the sauce so you can take a look. Okay, sorry about the sun just beaming in there through the window. But this is really looking good. So I'm going to pour that back into the pot. And we're going to bring this back to another boil which obviously won't take long. This is fairly hot right now. All right, let's carefully, carefully pour this in. Beautiful, beautiful. I am happy. Just waste not, want not. I <laughs> scrape every bit of it here. 
I like this little spatula. Stuff like this. There we go. It is in the pot. Okay, so we're going to put this. Actually, we're going to add the spices, the additional spices. We're going to add the two cups of vinegar. No. Yes, we're going to do two cups of vinegar. Sorry. Two cups of vinegar. Pour that in. Then two third cups of lemon juice, which, like I said, it's either comes this way or this way. Okay, so that's going in. Stir, stir, stir. Four tablespoons of salt. Well, I already put the salt in with the tomatoes when they were uh, boiling, boiling down, so I don't have to add the salt, but it's four tablespoons of salt. Three tablespoons of nutmeg. Now, I've never tried this barbecue sauce either, so I'm really hoping <laughs> we're gonna like it. Uh, okay. Just double check, three tablespoons, yeah. All right, so there's one, two, three. Two tablespoons of mustard powder. I'm using this Keen's dried mustard. See if I can get it in there properly. There's one, two two teaspoons of ginger. One, two. Next is two teaspoons of cinnamon. One, two. Okay, so stevia, they're calling for three cups of brown sugar, and that is equivalent to four to six teaspoons of stevia drops. So I'm using the droppers and like I said you can use the brown sugar like the recipe calls for but because we're trying to uh, trying to consume less sugar in the family um, we're doing the stevia drops so that's one teaspoon two three now it says four to six so I'm gonna stop at four and I'm gonna taste it I'm gonna mix this up and then taste it first before I decide whether to add the other two one or two teaspoons that could be left. So three cups of brown sugar equals four to six teaspoons of stevia drop. Mmm, smells good. You can definitely smell the nutmeg. I may have to add a little bit more of the smoke, but I'm gonna, like I said, taste this first before I do the paprika. Okay, I'm really tasting the ginger, the ginger and the um, nutmeg. I want that more hickory tasting though. So that's why I'm putting the smoked paprika and we like that sweet smoked taste when it comes to barbecue sauce because you can put this on chicken, ribs, uh, any of your, you know, anything that you're barbecuing your beef, your steaks. I think that was enough sweetener. Four teaspoons for me, but you can add more if you want. Okay, so now we're going to add sweet paprika. Now, this is not part of the recipe, but I'm going to try a tablespoon. So I want to see if what I'm adding is what you know, what we're trying to look for. Let's try that. Okay, so the sweetness is there. That's good. So I'm going to write that on my, on my book that I'm putting one tablespoon of sweet paprika. And I will put these alternatives also in the, in the recipe, like down at the bottom of the description. Uh, so that you can, uh, you know, try it for yourself. So now we're going to the smoked paprika, which I love, and this is what's really probably going to give us that that taste that we're looking for. Tablespoon of smoked paprika. 
Now this is obviously going to taste really good once all these spices incorporate one another and by the time we get to using it I can just imagine what it's going to be like. Let's try this. Mm. I think I want to add more smoked paprika to that. Like maybe just a teaspoon. Where is it? So, yeah. So, one tablespoon and one teaspoon. Okay, and I've got here Himalayan salt that I put in there. Um, and I really, it called for four tablespoons of the salt, and I did three. And black pepper is probably gonna be um, two tablespoons. And that's what I'm gonna add now. Where's my black pepper? Before I add the black pepper, mix that teaspoon up there. You know, right now, what I'm really smelling is the ginger for sure, and that nutmeg. And those two are strong, um, strong spices anyways. Okay, black pepper, two tablespoons. Let's get this mixed. So it says bring to a boil, reduce heat and simmer for about 30 minutes, stirring frequently until the mixture is thickened. Taste it. I feel like something's missing. I don't know what it is. I did say I was going to put more of the liquid smoke in. Let's try another teaspoon. Now this is just, like I said, I'm... <laughs> I'm altering it to our taste. I didn't know how this recipe was gonna taste. Um, and the only thing that's really missing is the hot pepper flakes. Well, I opted out of that, so. And I'm kind of adding my own zing to it. All right. Hmm. It's good. But I think I would do less ginger and less nutmeg because, I, like I said, I keep tasting that more than, than anything. But we're going to go with this, and we'll see how hubby likes it. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put this back on the stove, on the burner here, and bring that back to a boil. Maybe I do need a little bit more salt. I don't know. Come on. And let it boil for 30 minutes on, once it comes to a boil, then I'm gonna turn it down. Medium, probably medium high, uh, just to keep it boiling to evaporate the water. Get it thicker. And then uh, once I've done that, then I will be pouring them into hot jars. Now, my stove takes forever, so I've already started putting the water on high to get this hot. And the, the jars are inside already, and so I'll pull them out one at a time, fill, this, fill them up with the sauce, and then we're going to water bath these for pints and half pints in boiling water canner for 20 minutes if you're uh, zero to a thousand feet according to the recipe make about six or seven uh, pints so we'll see but I better keep stirring this so I don't burn it we'll see you in about 30 minutes well YouTube second for you <laughs> okay I am back now <laughs> this tomato sauce was not thickening 
enough to my likings. So I got Joe to pick up some tomato paste on the way home and I have added four of these small small tomato tomato pastes. I've added four of them to make it thicker. And I'm just warming it up again. And now the cuz this has been over an hour. And uh he just came home now, so I just added the tomato paste like five minutes ago. So now that's that's much better. Much better. Okay. One thing I will say about this recipe is that two teaspoons of ginger is really strong. So if you don't have a taste bud for ginger, I'd either eliminate it or maybe do half, like one teaspoon. So we're gonna get ready to put these in the jars and get canning. So let me get ready. Okay. Get a couple of jars out of here. Okay, so I brought the tomato sauce over. Bring the camera up a bit for you. Okay, we're gonna ladle this in. I think we're ready. Those are hot. First time barbecue sauce going in. <laughs> okay, so it says leave, I think it's a half inch headspace. Let me see here, just to make sure. Yeah, half inch headspace. And on my, on my funnel, I have measures, measuring. And I have to take some of that out, the looks of it, put too much in. And we're at a half inch. Okay. So even though this is liquid, you still want to make sure that you debubble. So I'm just taking a stick here and stirring it. I'm dipping it in vinegar. And I'm going to wipe the lid. That's hot. See, look at all that. Okay, now we're going to put a little in. And a ring. Fingertip tight. And we're going to put that back in the water. Okay, going to get these all filled up and in the canner, and I will bring you back at that time. So we have seven pint jars of barbecue sauce inside. So uh, this is gonna be interesting because I've got it exactly at an inch over the jar. You need to have an inch to two inches over the jar. And this is going to be a rolling boil. So I know I'm going to be leaking. So I'm gonna really have to keep an eye on that because it's going to spill everywhere. I'm not too sure about that, that canner, but anyway. So once that gets rolling, then I'm going to set the timer to 20 minutes. Yeah, 20 minutes of processing, and uh, we'll get that done, and we'll see our finished product. Timer just went off. I'm going to keep this going because I'm going to transfer more in in the pot get one out and you can see what it looks like so I got to bring these over to my table and uh, I'll bring you over there in a minute okay there we are first batch of barbecue sauce and that's tomato sauce um, behind it According to the recipe, it was going to give me uh, six to eight pints. I've got a heck of a lot. I've got 18. So Joe figures because I added the, the uh, tomato paste, 
it would have given me another extra jar, but still that doesn't add up to, to the amount that I got. Anyway, so I'm not gonna complain. 18 jars of fresh barbecue sauce, homemade, sugar-free, you know, can't get any better than that. Um, I did alter it, as you know, as we were going through the recipe, I added a few different uh, ingredients, trying to get that, that sweet hickory type taste in it. And um, like I said, that ginger was pretty strong. And so I'm either gonna eliminate it the next time or maybe just add one teaspoon instead of two. We'll see. But uh, thanks again for joining me today. And um, if you haven't already, if you like our video, it would really help us. If you um, like the video, hit subscribe and that notification bell uh, gets me out there a little bit more and more people viewing the videos. Um, and even better, if you could share the video. So again, I want to thank you for stopping by at Homemade and Homegrown, and we will see you next time in the next video. Have a great week. God bless.